Anti-aging and regenerative medicine is quickly becoming the new paradigm of healthcare around the globe. Biomedical technology, stem cells, nanotechnology, regenerative medicine, it's all part of a revolution, the anti-aging medical revolution, and it's here today and happening now. The American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine is the driving force behind this entire movement. Through its dozens of international conferences and top-rated web portal, www.worldhealth.net, the A4M will collectively train over 50,000 doctors and healthcare professionals this year alone. Co-sponsoring ACCME-approved, AMA-recognized continuing medical education in this fast-growing medical field. Don't miss the A4M conference in Orlando, April 25th through 27th. For conference information, go to worldhealth.net. While you're there, sign up for the free biotech newsletter and stay up to date on the latest and greatest in anti-aging medicine. Hello, this is Dr. Ron Klatz in Las Vegas at the World Congress on Anti-Aging Medicine. One of our speakers, Dr. Mayor Eisenstein, just gave a fantastic presentation on GERD, uh, acid reflux, uh, dyspepsia, uh, stomach problems, uh, probiotics. Uh, and most importantly, the anti-aging aspects of uh, digestive problems, uh, specifically on probiotics and uh, on uh, digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes and excess acid in the stomach. Dr. Eisenstein, for our viewers, just just give us a download. The anti-aging aspects of uh, aging-related uh, dyspepsia. Well, 75 million people, Dr. Class, in this country have problems, digestive issues. And as we get older, uh, we lose lots of our enzymes and we have more digestive issues. And so that's the ads on TV for Prolosec and right. the Purple Pill. And Nexium, uh, Prevacid, Prolosec. And the problem is these drugs are very, very dangerous because they're very effective. They completely get rid of the acid in your stomach. They turn off the ion pumps. Exactly right. You know, and by turning off the pumps, we can't absorb our vital nutrients like iron. So we're seeing anemia, calcium. So we're seeing fractures. Uh, we have increased pneumonia because. Well, hold the, on, let's back up for a second. So because we don't have enough acid in our stomach, we're taking all these antacids. Okay, so you don't have enough acid in the stomach. That means you can't digest the nutrients, and one of the nutrients is calcium. Exactly right. And you so know. you're saying that a low acid level in the stomach leads to osteoporosis. Yeah, well, well, it's not. I'm not saying it. Uh, it was in the Journal of the American Medical Association a year ago, and what was fascinating by the study uh, was that they found men over 50 who were on these proton pump inhibitors for more than a year had a 44% increase in bone fracture. Really? This is frightening. See, the whole concept uh, of digestion in this country is wrong. We put Band-Aids over it. You know, if someone has heartburn, get rid of the acid. Well, the acid's there for a reason, because we're not digesting our food. In your lecture, you, you mentioned about probiotics. Tell us the importance of probiotics uh, for the uh, you know for for the adult for the you know the the senior patient out there. Uh, Dr. Klatz, I think it's it's something. Uh, um, everyone takes multivitamins in this country, and I, I take multivitamins. Uh, but if if I had my choice, I think I would have everyone take probiotics. And what these are? These are friendly bacteria. We don't get enough of them in our diet, um, and everyone knows they're good for digestion. When I say everyone. All you have to do is go to any food store and look in the stores that they'll have. Uh, yogurts uh, with with probiotic colonies, and they'll say digestive aid. Well, what, what about yogurt with just acidophilus? Well, enough? Uh, no, I don't think no. so. I mean, look, it's better than nothing, but there's 500 different probiotic species, and no one really knows what the right combination is. And but I think you want to take at least six or eight different ones, and you want to take it on a daily basis. A very interesting article came out a few weeks ago. I think it was in Lancet, and it said that. We finally found the reason for the appendix, as, as if there was no reason for it. They found that the appendix is the warehouse for these friendly bacteria. And people who had appendixes had lower amounts of infections, digestive issues. So they said in times of stress, the appendix released the probiotics and they uh, uh, um, would lower the probability of getting sick. Um, I think it's you go to every shelf in every store, health food stores. Uh, surely, as we walk around here, you're seeing a tremendous amount of innovative and creative ways of uh, delivering probiotics. You know, uh, I, I don't think there's no such thing as a bad probiotic. It's just something that I think we need as part of our diet. And you really think it needs to be on a daily basis? Yeah, because see, food used to be. Um, uh, cured in a different way before pasteurization and pasteurization kills everything so it does kill all the 
pathogenic bacteria, but it also kills the friendly bacteria. And antibiotics wipes out the normal flora of the gut. I, uh, maybe the most important thing, we, we so abuse antibiotics. Uh, in fact, Dr. Klatz, I think we're coming to the end of the antibiotic era. We're now having such uh, uh, um, resistant strains. MRSA is becoming rampant. And now we need an old paradigm. And instead of going and simplify it, instead of killing all the bad guys, let's bring in millions of good guys. You know, that's kind so of the concept. Repopulate the intestines with healthy bacteria. Well, and as, we, as I said, that the, the appendix now is the appendage for that. And I think more and more doctors are realize you do not want to remove the appendix unless you really have serious problems. They used to remove it prophylactically, you right, know, okay. uh, when they opened up the abdomen. You know, nature, God, whoever designed us, they did it for a purpose. I don't think there was any, you know, unnecessary parts. Thank you, oh, Dr. Thank Eisenstein. you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much for coming. And, uh, My pleasure. Looking forward to hearing your next lecture. Thank you very much.